All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here talking about some uh, NFL uh, news. Quite a bit to talk about here uh, to get into. So, uh, I guess some bad news for the Eagles. Uh, hashtag Eagles AJ Brown, their wide receiver, uh, star wide receiver with a knee, doesn't practice Thursday per the team. AJ Smith and Hurts are all banged up. I mean, Hurts is going to play. I don't know about Devontae Smith and um, A.J. Brown. They're going to need him this weekend. Of, or, I mean, I shouldn't say this weekend. They're going to need him on Monday. They just collapsed after that Eagles game. I mean, the collapse has been amazing to watch as a Cowboys fan. But their collapse, it's just, they've just not been playing well. And I don't know if he's going to play. But I feel like he will. I don't think he's going to be out. I think he's going to try his best to play. Because obviously their season's on the line. So, hashtag Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey on the possibility of retirement after 11 seasons in the NFL per at by Nate Taylor. I have no reason to not keep playing football. I love it. I love the challenge it gives me every day. I have no desire to stop anytime soon. And quote, strong words from Kelsey pre-playoffs where he was 16, where he had 16 TDs and two, where he has 16 TDs in the playoffs and two Super Bowl rings. And that's what you want to hear if you're a Chiefs fan. The guy is one slight down year, and the world thinks he should retire, saying he's washed. He w he nearly had a thousand yard season in a qu quote unquote down year. He's still like a top three tight end. He has a quote in quote down year, nearly at a thousand yards. He should just keep going. If people really think he's actually gonna freaking retire. But, I mean, he's had a lot of injuries through his career. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he retired in the next few seasons. But I think he should keep going. I mean, he's still one of the top tight ends in the league. So, uh, a reporter asked, uh, end quote, Have you attempted to try to throw Eagles Jalen Hurts? Said, I have not. Obviously, leaving that game and attempting to go back into that game probably wasn't physically the best idea. The Eagles are going to get bounced first round easy against Tampa. They they're, might be finished and their downfall needs to be studied from this season. They might not throw the football a lot because Jalen Hurts, I think, might be still injured. He apparently got hurt his finger, middle finger. So, yeah. Um, they, they're done. So, Tom Brady shared his thank you to uh, Bill Belichick um, on Instagram. He basically said... I'm incredibly grateful to play, play for the best coach in the history of the NFL. Uh, he was a great leader for the organization. And you can go read his IG message. But as you know, uh, Belichick and the Patriots officially agreed to part ways. I'll talk more about that when I get to that in, in, from all this news. But yeah, Tom Brady um, got his thank you. And they should pro they might, they'll probably go um, into the Hall of Fame together, most likely. You know, lead that, leading that Patriots dynasty. Uh, hashtag Patriots owner Robert Kraft uh, talked about the look uh, on looking for his next coach and quote we're looking for someone who can help us get back to the playoffs and win. Sounds like he made the right decision moving on from Belichick for the sake of the franchise. I mean, it's kind of I don't know. I feel like maybe they could have kept him. The draft class seems pretty good, but I feel like they would they they were pressured. And, you know, making that move. I feel like both were a key to the dynasty. Brady's really good as well. The Bucks are still a solid team, but they're not as good without Brady. I mean, I think they'll find a coach they can lead to the playoffs who can help them get back there. So, after a report yesterday that said Aaron Rodgers um, is not going to be in the Pat McAfee show now, well, apparently today, Jets QB Aaron Rodgers is back on the Pat McAfee show. That's actually kind of hilarious when everyone was, was saying, oh, he's not going to be there. He's not. He's done with the Pat McAfee show, which I thought was kind of hilarious. I knew he would be. I knew he would be as soon as they made him a huge fuss about him no longer being on the show. Even though it was just because of seasoning, it was just because of freaking seasoning. And I guess me and a bunch of other people just kind of overreacted. 
but for those that like didn't know when the season ends, he doesn't usually come back until the following season, which is the case. Now him returning after the fact is surprising in itself. And um, and Pat McAfee welcomed him back on the show after publicly saying he would not be on the show. I'm back in the woods. Well, he lasted 24 hours at least. Got to gotta hand it to him. Lasted longer um, on that break from the Pat McAfee show than he did in his uh, first game as a New York Jet. So we have some NFL draft notes finally. Um, Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. has officially declared for the 2024 NFL Draft officially. So it's finally official. Um, so, which two teams do I think can get him? I think it'll either be the Cardinals or the Chicago Bears. Not surprised. He's wide receiver won this draft by far. Great kid, has all the tools, and I'm not saying he's... There's the other receivers in this draft class are trash. There's this draft class of receivers is freaking loaded. But he's the wide receiver one. I think the Cardinals will be an option. Um, Chicago. I think the Bears need him. You can pair him up with DJ Moore. Instead of drafting Caleb Williams, you could get Marvin Harrison Jr. Pair him up with DJ Moore. If, even if, if Justin Fields does a good look good after that, then I don't know what you do after that. So, hashtag Panthers, uh, defense coordinator Ejiro Evero has been requested by the hashtag Falcons to interview for their head coaching opening, per at Shelter Report. They need, really need an offensive guy. Because their defense is solid. They, their defense has played pretty good this year. It was the offense. They need to get an offensive-minded guy. So, per your report, FS1... FS1's that Dallas Cowboy legend, Michael Irvin is accused of misconduct and is under police investigation via TMZ. From the report, at this point, we aren't prepared to release any classification regarding Mr. Irvin. Irvin's attorney told PFT that Michael Irvin has done nothing wrong. We are we already did this one time with Michael Irvin. Well, the first time, he didn't do anything. And now they're trying to do this again. When the first time it was proved he never did anything. It was proven the other one lied. And this one's, this one's probably a freaking lie too. Last one was proven to be nonsense. This one's probably proven to be nonsense too. Like somebody has it out for freaking Michael Irvin. If this is indeed, you know, false and he didn't do anything. So some good news for the Texans. Uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag Texans wide receiver Noah Brown returned to practice. Back injury per Aaron Wilson NFL. And Denzel Ward is likely out and so is their other starting safety. Stroud might actually cook in this game. So I have to rethink you know, uh, that prediction for my NFL uh, preview. For the playoff uh, preview. So we have some breaking news. Uh, regarding the 2024 NFL Draft, so one of the quarterbacks, um, te Texas QB Quinn Ewers, has announced that he is not declaring for the 2024 NFL Draft and said he's going to return to the Longhorns for another season. I mean, smart move to stay in improve his draft stock. I'm not going to say he's going to be a great NFL quarterback, but it's good for him to stay. St smart move to stay in improve draft stock. I know people are going to be like, oh, what about Arch Archie Manning? He could transfer. Or he can just start the year later. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Because he'd still have, what, two years of eligibility? But I wouldn't be surprised, because it's kind of a smart move. Make the NIL money while you can. Up your draft stock. Arch can redshirt 2023. First year of el eligibility next year, then start for two years after Ewer's gone. That's really what they should do. Um, NFL Players of the Month for December slash January. NFC was running back Christian McCaffrey. On offense, defense was Buccaneers. Anton Winfield Jr. And special teams was Cowboys kicker Brandon Aubrey. For the rookies was Rams DT Kobe Turner. On offense was Rams wide receiver rookie Puka Nakua. Offense for the, for the AFC, QB Lamar Jackson. Defense, Derek Stingley Jr. And special teams was Bills punter Sam Martin. So well deserved for those NFL Players of the Month for December slash January. 
So per your report, former hashtag Patriots head coach Bill Belichick and hashtag Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh are not on the Titans candidate list per Dean Mercini. So they're not real currently looking at those two. And I mean Not really surprising. I don't think they would go after those two. Uh, hashtag Bengals offensive coordinator Brian Callahan has been requested by the Hashtag Falcons to interview for their head coaching job per at Tom Polisro. He's top three for f- top three to four, a really good offensive coordinator. I like this one a lot. Hiring Callahan and keeping Nielsen as a defense coordinator would be a good decision uh, for the Falcons. Um, hashtag Rams defense coordinator Raheem Morris has been, inter- been requested by the Hashtag Falcons to interview for their head coaching job per at Tom Polisro. They need an offensive mind, man, like I keep saying. I know people are like, do though, look at the Texans. I didn't say for head coach. That just meant Arthur was a horrible, was a terrible offensive mind. So we have some, uh, the NFL has announced the four home teams for the international games in Europe 2024. Bears, London, Jaguars, London, Vikings, London, and Panthers, and Munich. There will be no international games in Mexico. I mean, why do they give all the ass teams international games? I mean, it's better than nothing, but come on. Give us some better teams, the NFL. Uh, some more NFL draft news. Uh, Ohio State wide receiver Amika, Amika Igboka has announced that, he's not, that he is not declaring for the 2020 or 2024 NFL draft. Instead, instead of returning to the Buckeyes for his senior season, so Amika Igboka has officially announced that he is not declaring for the draft and will stay at Ohio State for one more year. I think it's a smart move because the draft stock kind of did drop a ton in 2023. Um, but there's no excuse for Ryan Day this year, because that team is loaded. So, um, Hashtag 49ers defense coordinator Steve Wilkes has been requested by the Hashtag Falcons to interview for their head coaching job. Uh, but that's most likely not going to happen. Because they need an offensive mind. Uh, so, we had, the breaking news came out this morning at about 7 uh, a.m. The hashtag Patriots are parting ways with Coach Bill Belichick. Per that rap sheet, the news came out at about 7 a.m. I saw it at like 8.30 while I was at school. I saw the news come out. I wasn't really surprised. I didn't think he would get fired or anything. I thought he, they would just part ways and, if it, and it was official. And a year after Tom Brady retired from the NFL after 23 years, the Patriots move on from Bill Belichick after 24 years. Just crazy. Like, no, no Brady now on the Patriots, Bill Belichick on the Patriots. It's just going to be weird seeing them not in it, uh, on the Patriots anymore. Just the last 24 hours have been crazy with Bill Belichick, um, and the Patriots part ways, Pete Carroll, um, moving on his own terms to an advisor role with the Seahawks, Nick Saban leaving his own, we'll talk about that in a separate video, uh, but j- just, just crazy. And per your report, Bill Belichick wants to continue coaching and chase the all-time winning record by an NFL head coach source to tell that Jeff Foe. I think he'll break that record, I mean, the Chargers, I definitely feel it's the move, and there's currently eight head coach openings. Bills, or Bill would be a pretty decent fit on the Seahawks and Falcons. I could definitely see one of those two. Those are probably the two so best spots for him, you know, to go to. Which I think, well, it could happen. Um, most sacks in the NFL this season, Sam Howell 65, Bryce Young 62, Zach Wilson 46, and Russell Wilson 45. Just in saying how the gap is between 2 and 3. Like the Commanders and um, pa- Panthers really need to improve their offensive line. Zach Wilson would have took way more if he actually played all the games. Every wide receiver with over 100 rush yards this year, Debo Samuel, uh, with 225, Rondell Moore, Rondell Moore 178, Jaden Reed 119, C.D. Lamb 113, Kevontae Turpin 110, and Darius Davis with 101. Man, Jaden Reed's going to be f- nasty for that team. Most y- yards per carry in this NFL season, Devin DeChain 7.8, Jackson, Lamar Jackson 5.5, Christian McCaffrey 5.4, Fields 5.3, and Warren 5.3. 
Next offensive coordinator Mike Kafka has been requested by the Titans to interview for their head coaching job prior to Tom Palacero. The Raiders interim head coach Antonio Pierce has been requested to interview for the Titans head coaching job prior to rap sheet. And also, the last one I want to talk about is Ravens safety coordinator Mike McDonald has been requested by the Titans to interview for their head coaching job prior to Adam Schefter. I'll have another video later, but until next time, I'll Peace.